In this video, we're going to be looking specifically at how you add multimedia content to an iBook uh, on iBooks Author. So I'm going to open up the app to begin with, and I'm going to choose a template, this classic one here. Okay, so the template gives me a really good um, basis to build on, um, and to add any multimedia content, you need to turn to what they call the widgets. These are all of the different options for uh, your multimedia content. To begin with, I'm going to start with media. Now this is just simply a window uh, that would contain a video. And the easiest way to get your video onto your book is to simply drag and drop the video into the space there. So there you go, nice and easy to add a, a video to your iBook there using the media widget. Okay, from there I could change the uh, the box here. Obviously, I want to change the title. And I would replace all of this with some extra information, but I won't do that right now in this video. Okay, I'm now going to add a uh, image gallery. So I'm going to go back to my widgets. I'm going to choose gallery. Now from here, the easiest way of adding your images is to either drag and drop or use the plus button over here. This will open up my folders and I can choose one image at a time. So go back to the plus, choose the next image, go back to my plus, choose the next image, and so on and so forth until you've got a number of images that you're quite happy with. So again, nice and easy to create an effective um, image gallery here. I can just scroll through like so. Going back to my widgets, let's have a look at the interactive image. So to begin with, what I need to do is drag and drop an image in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab one of my images of my battles. Now from there, I can use these handy little boxes to uh, put some more information in there. And so on and so forth. And again, if I wanted to add any more interactive boxes, then I choose the plus button, it brings me a new box, and then I can fill that in. So there you go. Again, a really quick and easy way of creating an interactive image that I can place on my page wherever I like. Now, there are plenty more of these widgets that are worth exploring, uh, but those three are the most common and probably the ones that are going to be most useful to you if you're creating educational content. But I will just highlight that you can embed entire keynotes, you can add 3D images, and of course you can add things like scrolling text bars, popover text bars, and you can embed links into your iBooks. So really easy to create multimedia content in an iBook using the widgets on iBooks Author.